All right, guys. So today uh, our goals is fairly similar to yesterday. Today's work day two. So you are just using your time this hour to uh, keep continuing building on your seed pods. You should have started it. Hey, I'm Dylan Cini. I'm the ceramic teacher at Heights High School. If you are struggling with your sketches, why don't you raise your hand and I'll put you in a breakout meeting. We can all kind of talk about it again together and go over uh, maybe some more planning and sketching. Put your hand up if you want some extra help with coming up with some ideas. Sketching. Remote teaching has been very challenging for ceramic, uh, but it's been very successful at the same time. I've switched up the stage a couple times, you know, getting the cameras ready and the uh, monitors and things like that, um, lighting just to make it more um, authentic for the kids and so they can see everything happening. Um, yeah, it's taken quite a bit of setup and, and help from friends and community to, to really make it happen. Remember, this is a progressive sculpture, so you have to build one, that's your beginning stage, and then a middle stage, and then a final stage. In total, you're doing three smaller sculptures. We had a lot of people from the community donate um, funds for us to be able to provide them with a kit to take home um, that had a bunch of tools. Uh, they're not your everyday ceramic tools, they're kind of more makeshift and um, cheaper versions, but they work really well, surprisingly. And even myself, I challenge myself to, you know, make all the projects I am alongside with them and demonstrate with their tools uh, that they're using. And they all kind of find that they're just as good and, and they're really satisfied with them. All right, so you guys, um, talking about seed pods again, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And we're going to look at that outline of this project one more time. I'm teaching intro classes and then well as advanced classes, so that includes ceramics two, three, and four. Normally students come in, they join our meeting, and we uh, go over projects and, and then work together. Um, I do demonstrations for them and we uh, share journals and share pictures of each other's work and, and talk and problem solve. I've just been having to demo more and I also have to record those demonstrations live and they, they do enjoy that because then they can go back and watch that demo as many times as possible. Sometimes I'll demo after and record after so it's a little bit smoother but um, kind of either way has been working for them. And then remember I want you to be really texture heavy on this project so lo looking at and using lots of different ideas for texture. They have to bring their projects up to the school and then uh, I, we, they drop them off usually at the back door and then I take them and fire them in the kilns for them. Glazing and uh, painting and things like that are things we're trying to work through right now. Right now I have like these paint kits that I'm getting ready to send out for students so they can learn about acrylics and, and paint a little bit. Um, most of their projects I designed with um, thought on that prior to so I'm really my, myself and Pottery Club are glazing a lot of them ourselves. They're doing decorating with uh, a material called an underglaze and so they'll paint at home and then it'll get fired and then we can do a clear glaze on top of it and, and that's just I thought was the best option for them. So. Haley let me know if you're back in. I still can't tell. Daniel you might have to show me your teapot there. I want to see what happens see if we can't get it fixed. Their projects are turning out spectacular. I mean, more, a lot more than what I could expect because, I, you know, with all this, I, I thought going into it, I, I, like, I had high hopes, but at the same time, I knew things weren't going to be what they are here. So, but I, I have found that their projects are, are really stunning and, and they're coming through um, a lot better than I even expected to begin with. And that's I think primarily they're getting a lot of time to focus on, on that and not having so many distractions that are sometimes in the classroom. You want to lay your plastic bag out and then you can take a microfiber rag and soak that rag in water and then wring it out. You don't want it to be completely soaked and then wrap it around that base and then around the other part that's broken there and let it reabsorb some water. I'm really impressed with the work that they're doing and lots of learning is happening here and and my students think so, think so as well. Some of them even prefer remote over in person which you know I, I don't particularly me I don't prefer it but we're making it work really well I think. Try something if it works then keep going with it if you don't feel like it's working then scrap and try something else you know.